Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. We're going to continue doing a couple of problems with precipitation reactions, giving you the practice to predict what, what is going to form, what's soluble, what's insoluble, and then finding those net ionic equations because you're almost guaranteed to have something like that on your exams. So the problem that I want to do now is what happens if you have something like magnesium sulfate, of course aqueous solution, and I'm adding it to potassium hydroxide aqueous solution. What is going to happen? So this is what you're being asked in your test. And if you just want to verify just for practice, magnesium sulfate, sulfate's down here. These are soluble unless they're attached to these, so that's not applying, so this is soluble. Potassium hydroxide you should probably recognize. Most hydroxides are insoluble. However, there's an exception when it's combined with a group 1A metal. Potassium is a group 1A metal, so that's an exception. So both of these are soluble. So this is broken down into magnesium ions and sulfate ions. This is broken down into potassium ions and hydroxide ions. They're just all floating around. So let's figure out what happens. If this reaction happens, you kind of make an assumption. You say, okay, it does happen. What would form? Well, you'd have the positive magnesium combining with the negative hydroxide. So what you would have is um, magnesium OH. You'd have magnesium combining with hydroxide. Now you need to make sure and get the subscripts correct and form this compound, if it were to form, in the right ratios. What charge does magnesium like to have? If you look at the periodic table, it always likes to have positive two. What charge does hydroxide like to have? It always likes to have negative one. You should remember that by now, we've been doing that enough. So here's a two up here, goes down here, and here's a one there. So really what it's gonna look like, the two's gonna come here, the one's gonna go there. So MgOH2, all right? And I'm going, to put a, I'm going to put an open parentheses because I don't know if it's soluble or not. And then what else could form? So magnesium goes with the hydroxide. Here I have potassium with the sulfate. So I have potassium SO4. Now let's make sure we form this one right. What charge does potassium like to have? It likes to have a positive 1. What charge does sulfate like to have? It likes to have a negative 2, but if you forget, you can actually see it from our chart. So you have plus one and minus two. So if you do the crisscross, you get K2SO4. So you get K2SO4. Though that's gonna be what is the other potential product. And we'll leave it open because I don't know if it's soluble or not. So the bottom line is if both of these potential products, these are the only things that could possibly form. If they're both soluble and if they both dissolve and dissociate in water, then this reaction really doesn't happen because nothing really forms. If at least one of them is an insoluble uh, thing that's you know, solid, it falls out of solution, and it doesn't dissolve, and then we say this reaction happens. So we look at magnesium hydroxide, 